CNN would like to make sure they want to put a blanket over Bernie Sanders' face to make sure you are not aware there is a surge. There is a surge, a Sanders surge. They put a, sten- they put a few stents in him, and now there is a surge. And CNN is trying to cover that up as best as they can. Thank you for the graphic. Colin Tooley, the blanket, over Senator Bernie Sanders. Now, a new poll came out today with Bernie Sanders in the lead in New Hampshire. 21%. Elizabeth Warren, 18%. Joe Biden, middle class Joe, union man Joe, uh, you know, hobo Joe, as I like to call him. Uh, 15%. America's mayor, uh, Mr. Pete Buttigieg, Wall Street's darling, Silicon Valley's hero, uh, Mr. I've never done anything. I run a city that that I've gentrified. He's at 10%. Uh, Decent showing for Tulsi Gabbard. I think that's one of her stronger polls in New Hampshire at 5%. Uh, Tom Steyer uh, buying his way on the debate stage at 3%. Kamala Harris, what a fall from grace for Kamala Harris. 3%. Corey, two. Beto, two. I didn't even know Joe Sestak Stest- Joe was running 1%. And uh, Julian Castro, who I expect to drop out next, 0%. This is New Hampshire, and this is a CNN poll. So, I don't know. Bernie Sanders leading. Bernie Sanders leading this CNN poll by three points. Sure, in fairness, the margin of error uh, is four points. So, Technically, technically, uh, by the margin of error of this poll, it is a statistical tie. But why this is important is, Jen, correct me if I'm wrong, but whenever Elizabeth Warren is is leading Bernie Sanders, whether it be in a national poll, whether it be in a New Hampshire poll, Iowa, Iowa poll, and it's within the margin of error, the headline still says, Elizabeth Warren takes the lead. Elizabeth Warren tops Sanders. Elizabeth Warren uh, surging if she's up by two or three points over Bernie Sanders. CNN, MSNBC, The Washington Post, The New York Times, they, even if it's by one or two points, they make very clear Elizabeth Warren in the lead. Elizabeth Warren has passed Bernie Sanders. CNN's treatment of Bernie Sanders now in the lead, a little bit different. A little bit different, I shall say. Sanders and Warren fight for home field in New Hampshire. Oh, they fight for home field in New Hampshire. I don't know. I only took one journalism class in college. Maybe that's why I think a little bit differently, because I wasn't indoctrinated with too many classes. But when I learned was the headline was the facts. And the facts are, in this CNN poll, Bernie Sanders is in the lead by three points over Elizabeth Warren, and he's in the lead by six points over Joe Biden, who at this point, I mean, let's just call it what it is, restoring the soul of my lifeless campaign. That's his new slogan. It's moved from restoring the soul of America to restoring the soul of my lifeless campaign. So CNN, it's a much different treatment. And I'm sorry, I don't have the clip for you, but John King on CNN, you know, when he, when they were talking about it, there was, there was no word, there was no language that Bernie's in the lead. It was all, well, you know, they're basically tied this and that. I have watched enough CNN segments, so you don't have to. They do not talk this way when it's Elizabeth Warren in the lead. Even if it's within the statistical margin of error, Elizabeth Warren surging. It is a completely different narrative. And why is that, folks? Why is it that Bernie Sanders up by three points? Oh, he's not up. The headline is just, oh, they're they're fighting. They got a tough fight in home field. You look at Ryan Grimm's, Ryan Grimm's Twitter from The Intercept. He showed several different headlines they've had and updates on this poll. 
Buddha judge in fourth, but a strong fourth. Oh, well, that's important. That's a big takeaway from the poll. This is a historically unprecedented New Hampshire mess. Nowhere. Bernie Sanders in the lead. Early state primary voters much more undecided than voters nationally. A disappointing poll for Biden. I, I'm just, I can't find the part. Oh, wait, is this it? Sanders and Warren sit atop in New Hampshire, but there's no clear front runner. I just can't find the headline. It must be somewhere in the Wayback Machine, Jen. It must be somewhere in the Wayback Machine. I can't find the headline that says Bernie Sanders in the lead. Bernie. Bernie. Do you know where the headline is, Bernie? Do you know? Do you know, Bernie? I can't find the headline with you in the lead, Bernie. So, of course, we know why this is. But I want to show you, because I think this part is critical to the poll. I'm going to show you a couple parts of the poll. But there's one part of the poll that I think is critical. And frankly, I don't want to, like, you know, brush off my shoulder here. But status quo has been saying this all along. When these polling companies, CNN, Emerson, Quinnipiac, Monmouth, YouGov, when they actually poll a more equal distribution in terms of age, so when they poll a similar amount of people under the age of 50 versus a similar amount of people over the age of 50, shockingly, Bernie Sanders does a lot better. When you look at this poll, age 18 to 34, 330 people polled. That's 27% of the poll, of of those they polled. 35 to 49, 282. That's 23% of those polled. 50 to 64, 30% of those polled were 50 to 64. And 65 and older, 20%. Now, I'm no math musician, but I put it in my calculator. 27 plus 23, that's 50%. So the CNN, University of New Hampshire poll, polled 50% of those that they polled were 18 to 49. That is Bernie Sanders' strongest demographic. I'm not saying he doesn't have older supporters. A lot of them are watching right now. But by the numbers, by the data, Bernie does best under the age of 50. So in this poll, credit to the University of New Hampshire and CNN for once. 50% of those polled under the age of 50. 50% of those polled 50 or older. And what do you get? Bernie Sanders in the lead. It's shocking, right? If you actually poll a more even distribution, you get Bernie Sanders with stronger numbers. And we've been saying this for months. I'm not a polling truther. I'm not saying all the polls are BS. But a lot of these polls, particularly Monmouth, particularly YouGov and The Economist, particularly Quinnipiac, they wildly oversample older people and undersample young people. Another interesting part of this poll, second choice. You got Bernie Sanders voters, 43% of them say Warren is their second choice. Elizabeth Warren, 38% of her supporters say Bernie is their second choice. Biden, 27% Warren, 15% of Biden supporters will vote for Bernie, if not Biden. Why this is important? I think Biden, I mean, I've been saying it for months, iceberg right ahead. This man's campaign is a slow, slow moving Titanic. It's both a train wreck and a Titanic. I think possibly you might see him moving into fourth and fifth place in some of these polls. Frankly, he can't construct a complete sentence. Frankly, there's obviously something cognitively wrong here. I'm not wishing him poor health, but I have two eyes. He's not ready for prime time. He's aging before our eyes, and he, he can't construct a full sentence. And also, he has no vision. It's all, he's running Hillary Clinton's campaign with a different body part. It's all Trump is the Antichrist, Trump is corrupt, impeach Trump, Trump's with the Russians, and yeah, pass the caviar at my Wall Street fundraisers. He, he is not inspiring anyone to come out. So... If Biden falls, according to this New Hampshire poll, if Biden falls, that support goes to 
Elizabeth Warren, mostly, which would hurt Bernie Sanders. Why it's so important, why the age is so important, the fact that this poll is evenly split, 50% of those polled are under the age of 50, the other half were over the age of 50, and actual representation is because even though the pollsters pretend uh, that, you know, they make excuses when outlets like Status Quo, Status Coup, call them out for wildly undersampling younger people and oversampling older people, the youth vote is up from 2016 and 2018. This is from Vox. This is on the midterm elections. Young people drove turnout increases. Nearly 36% of age 18 to 29 years old citizens reported voting, a 16% jump from 2014 when only 20% of the youngest voters turned out to the polls. Adults ages 30 to 44 also increased voter turnout by 13%. So you have displayed in the midterms. That's 20% to 30, 16% increase in youth turnout. 18 to 29, Bernie Sanders' strongest demographic. So the days of pollsters being able to say, well, we're polling more older people because older people vote more. If young people voted more, we'd take the effort of calling more young people. You can't make that excuse anymore because I just showed you the data. The most recent election, 16 percentage point increase in age 18 to 29, youth turnout. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as five to ten dollars a month. Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you. Thank you.